So, do you want to know how you shoot B-roll footage for your films, interviews, and YouTube videos? You'll find out right here. So, from my own experience from freelancing and shooting videos for clients as well as my own YouTube channel, B-roll is essentially what it sounds right. You have A-roll, which is your primary footage, and then you have your B-roll, what I like to call secondary footage. And when I talk to a lot of freelance of my own clients, they're usually like, what is B-roll? B-roll is essentially just additional shots on top of the primary shots. For example, you are interviewing someone, your primary footage of your subject, you're filming them, they're talking. But the truth is you don't want to see someone talk unless they have a really good you know, character and on-screen, on-camera presence. So then what you do is you shoot B-roll. So B-roll essentially just emphasizes the story and makes a video much more interesting. But one of the reasons I use a lot of B-roll, especially for my own freelancing clients, is because it covers up a lot of mistakes because not a lot of people are comfortable talking in front of the camera. So what I can do is to emphasize their story is that I can film parts and portions to further illustrate and cover up any of their ums, buts, or any mistakes to seem like it's one fluid take, but in reality, it's actually multiple several takes covered on on top of by additional footage. So now that you understand what a primary basic understanding what B-roll is, for some examples, it could be like a chef talking about his favorite cuisines, and then you would have overlaying shots of him plating the food, plating this beautiful food, talking about experiences and shopping and buying the groceries, to eventually plating the own food. So that is B-roll. And another example of that is that you have a client and you're interviewing them, and they're talking about their product that they're trying to sell or finally launch for their website, and then you have overlaying shots of you know them using the product as well as close up of the shots. So if you want to get into the super nitty gritty of B-roll and secondary footage, is that you know there's a couple methods and techniques that I use, whether that's panning in and out, left and right, or doing you know focus pulls. Those are my go-to methods for B-roll. So when it comes to overall importance of B-roll, just because you call it B-roll, it is just as important or if not sometimes more important than the primary footage. Because truth is, B-roll can either make or break a video. So next time you think about shooting additional footage and how you actually do it, think of the purpose of what you're doing the video for. Is, it, is the B-roll just there to cover up a mistake? Or what you can do on top of that is to make sure it further emphasizes the person's story. For example, I'm talking about my trip to Vietnam, so then I would have additional B-roll footage of trips or sightseeing places of Vietnam. So now, from my own perspective, you understand what B-roll or secondary footage is. It's to emphasize a story, to cover up mistakes, and as well to further illustrate what the main person or subject is trying to tell within a video narrative. Try it out for yourself. There's different ways. There isn't one specific way at how you specifically film B-roll. For example, rap music videos. Most of the time, you know, the go-to safe shot is having the artist sing or you know, put out their rap lyrics, and then you would have slow motion tracked on top of that. Right? That's usually a lot of things you see in music videos. Or it's a classic interview styled video where you have your client in one third of the screen talking about this, this, and this, and then you have overlaying shots of B-roll footage to further emphasize their story. And that's essentially what all B-roll is. Now go out there, shoot your B-roll, get creative, try new things, and my name is Peter, and that is how I film B-roll footage.